yeah, they're gonna be gonna in get trouble. Yourself this sounds canceled. this sounds similar to the slavery stuff too, because that's that's literally they they the founder of or the guy who made Root said I wanted a myth for my people to live by. So they often, but that's what they do is they embellish. And I'm not trying to say it wasn't horrible. It was right, but they want to make it like more horrible, so that they can control people. That's what you niggas offended about. That's what y'all are offended about. Now, the guy that was up there, he was talking about what happened in Germany. And he said he feels that parts of it was embellished. Pearlie said this sounds similar to the slavery thing where parts were embellished for certain purposes. Now, first of all, I get why some of you Negroes are offended. Some of you don't know what the word embellish means. Some of you don't know what the word embellish means. So embellish means you take something that is already a certain way and you extrapolate it or you try to make it even worse than it already was. Now, if you notice, she said, where they're trying to embellish certain parts, and I'm not saying it wasn't horrible. So she gave you a disclaimer. She said, I'm not saying it wasn't horrible. Now, what she said about Roots was accurate. What she said about Roots was a fact. You can go look it up. You can go look it up. What she said about Roots was accurate. Now, for those of you that want to say, oh, she's one of the white liberals that try to use XYZ to control people, but she just described to you what white liberals do. So why would she out herself if that's what she was? Because that's what she was talking about. She said where they will take something like slavery or racism, embellish it for the purposes of controlling you. That's what she was talking about. Which is the same thing that Brother Malcolm talked about. So it, it starts to get to the point where you got to ask the question, are you offended because of what she said, or are you, are you just offended because she's white? I didn't see her say anything wrong. And on top of that, while she was saying it, she was tiptoeing. She was tiptoeing through the tulips. She was walking on eggshells while she said it. So what I'm trying to figure out is what so what were you, what were you so offended by? Shout out to Stanley, shout out to Artisan. Artisan said, here for the angry take, appreciate you. Stanley said, keep rocking. So my question is, what, what are you really offended by? What are you really upset about? Yeah, man. Uh, um, so my question is, is what parts of slavery were embellished? You said Actually, what? What parts of slavery were embellished, according to her? She wasn't talking about slavery. She wasn't talking about slavery. She was talking about the movie Roots. He embellished certain parts. Of, he, he embellished certain historical facts about slavery in that in that series. Oh, she said, she said, just like the slavery thing, and then she brought up Roots. So first she brought up slavery, Okay. And then she compared okay, slavery. Bro, check this out. Check this roots. out. Check this we out. All know. Hold on. Hold on. Stop for a second. Stop for a second. I'm going to explain it to you again because you ain't listening. You trying to find something to be mad about. So I'm going to explain it to you one more time. Okay. The man who created the movie Roots. Okay. Which is where most of y'all's knowledge about slavery actually comes from. He stated clearly that he wanted to make slavery look way worse than it already was 
Okay, it was already bad, but he wanted to make it look worse to quote unquote inspire black people or whatever. He's quoted as saying that. That's what she was talking about. Y'all are actually conflating the two things. That's what she was talking about. So she, she compared slavery to roots. She, she used roots to describe slavery. In all reality, slavery was actually worse than roots. No, because wasn't. if you look at the Jim no, Crow era, no, it wasn't. When you look at the, no, it wasn't. In, 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 if you look at the Black Codes era, like no, no, it wasn't. I mean. No, it you wasn't. can have. I mean, I mean, you can have your opinion. You can, brother. Uh, no, it wasn't. You can pretty much defend her statement, but bro, I it's mean, a like, no. It's a historical. She's sitting there bro, with, with a white bro, supremacist, bro, speaking bro, on black bro. issues, saying slavery wasn't that bad, just like the Holocaust. Yo, do you fucking hear me talking? And he left. You see, this is what I mean by clown ass niggas. That's a clown ass nigga. That's a single mother raised nigga right there. I've talked about this shit numerous times on this show. I've talked about this shit numerous times on this show. Was slavery fucked up? Yes, it was. Was slavery the way they depict it in movies and, and, and series like Roots? No. It was not. It was not. There are many elements of chattel slavery that is left out of those movies, that is left out of those series. But I get it. Yeah, what's going on, man? Was, was you on some bitch ass shit? Did you yeah. did your internet hey. fall off or did you dip? Tell the truth. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you talk, though, man. No, tell the truth. I want to know. So, did you dip? I oh, told yeah. you I did. I did. Yeah. Uh, see, so see. I'm gonna let you talk. See, that's yeah, hey, Okay, yeah. so so let me you say this. Be right, right? So let me say this. No, I don't want to be right. I want black people to think clearly so that we can stop being used. Okay? This is what I want, right? So here's the thing, bro. And this is what you gotta understand. They play this game all the time. It's the same playbook over and over again. You gotta stop being triggered by what white people say. You feel me? What what we need to be worried about is what other groups do, not what they say. Okay? Not what they say, not no opinion. You feel me? So if you feel like she was trying to downplay slavery or whatever, okay, fine. I'm probably not going to change your mind about that. Right? That's not what I heard. But if that's how you feel, it's all good. Because they know, they know, look, here's the thing. They know... They know that the only way they know that one of the easiest ways to trigger black people is with white people through racism or slavery. They lack the ability. They lack the fucking ability to have a real conversation with you about it. OK, now I'm going to say this and there's going to be a bunch of people that's going to get offended. But I'm going to fucking say this shit, right? During slavery, a slave was extremely valuable. Okay? Extremely valuable. Now, I'm not saying that slaves were not beaten. I'm not saying that slaves were not deleted. That, of course, happened. But that did not happen the way it happens in movies. And the reason why it didn't happen the way it happens in movies, okay, is because in the movies, they want you to see it be as barbaric as possible so that you will be offended, so that you will be butthurt, and then they in turn associate the Republican Party with white people and they associate the Democratic Party with black people. It's part of the strategy to keep you voting Democrat. This is why every year that passes by, they can't go a year without putting out a slave movie. 
And in those slave movies, they make it as barbaric as they possibly can make it. But here's my question to you. A slave back then, and see, most Negroes can't look at shit this way because they lack the ability to look at that shit outside of their emotions, outside of their feelings, right? If you step outside of your feelings for a second and stop being so focused on your disdain for the white man, right? If you step outside your feelings for a second and you really think about it, right? A slave to those people back then was a utility, something that helped make them money, something they had to pay for. Now, look, I'm going to say this again because I know how niggas is going to get. I know what you're going to say. Well, angry man, is you saying that they didn't beat the slaves? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is any slave owner that took it to that level of barbarism their plantation didn't last long because you can't beat the life out of your workers and then expect them to have the capability to work. You're, you're fucking up your production, right? That's logical thinking, right? Now, am I saying that there weren't slave owners that did that? No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying to you is they give you a depiction in movies and miniseries that make it seem like every slave's life was just completely worthless to the slave master. That's not true. It's not true. It's not true. You even see that in some of the later years going towards reconstruction where you literally had slave owners leaving shit to slaves. That's a historical fact. You can look that shit up, right? And I'm not saying this to try to redeem the slave masters. Anybody owning a human being, that's wrong. That's wrong and that's fucked up and it shouldn't be going on nowhere in the world. But you have to understand the real history of slavery. Not what you see in movies, not what you see in miniseries and shit like that. Now, you can say, well, she was trying to make light of slavery. That's not what I heard when she said that because she definitely said, I'm not saying it wasn't horrible. So what would be the need for her to say that? What would be the need for her to say that? But see, this is the same type of shit we go through when we try to have conversations with these women. This is why I know a lot of you niggas, you, you got your mama's mind in your head and you got your mother's mouth. And that's the reason why whenever you're talking to these B-dubs and you say, look, I'm not saying all B-dubs is doing X, Y, Z, but y'all got this going on. See, us as black men, we'll try to tiptoe. We'll try to walk on eggshells. And you know what? It don't fucking matter. And the reason why it don't matter because these women don't want to understand what the fuck you saying. They just want the excuse to be mad. They just want the excuse to talk shit. And that's what you niggas is doing with slavery and racism. You just want the fucking excuse to run your mouth. That's all you're doing. What's good, Arnold? You misheard me. What did you say? Like, that was disrespectful. What was disrespectful? You misheard me. I didn't even finish. Oh, 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 I said oh, she oh, was oh, missing. Whoa, 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 hold on for a second. You said that was disrespectful. Are you saying that I was being disrespectful to you? Yes, because I literally was... Shut the fuck up. Don't come over here telling me who the fuck I'm being disrespectful to. You can kiss my ass. You lost your fucking mind telling me who I'm being disrespectful to. Fuck out of here with that goofy ass shit. You got, you got me twisted. I'm not like these other fucking content creators. You're not going to come to my platform and tell me I'm disrespecting you fuck do I look like? And don't come up here thinking you're going to fucking disrespect my platform. Respect my house. Respect my house. Big Stan, what's good? Nah, it's Big Stoffy, man. All respect, Big Stoffy, my bad. Big, Big, nah, you good, you good. I respect you, brother. Uh, 